Back in the hills of Tennessee Oh, 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 it would be so fine If I could just go back to 1949 My music career started actually with Carter Stanley and this is like in uh, 64, 65. Carter heard me play and he liked the way I played the guitar. And I could play to uh, help his singing, or back the singer up. I had worked with the Stanleys part-time for over like a year and a half, two years. Carter passed away in 66 and Ralph came back out in 1967 in February. He came to a, a little nightclub and uh, I got up and sung a couple songs. Ralph was in the crowd and he, he hadn't been on stage yet. I got through singing and I went I sit down and he sent word for me to meet him outside. I didn't know what was up to meet him outside if he wanted to fight or what. <laughs> he took me to his 1967 Pontiac station wagon. He said, get in. We talked a little bit and he said, would you be interested in coming with me and singing for me? Daylight till dark, my work's never done. The Lord have mercy on me, shut off the sun. Our singing just fell right together, you know. Just went on stage and started doing it. After five albums with Ralph, I thought, I think I've got something that I to offer that's different. Ralph was doing fine and uh, I left him on good terms. And so I left him in 69 and, and I thought I would uh, form my own band. Have you ever been to Richmond in November? When the cold Virginia rain is coming down. Little by little, I came up with new songs. And uh, when I became a band leader, I knew that I had to make myself a product. I'm Larry Sparks, but I'm no longer Larry Sparks. I'm a product. And in other words, you promote yourself and you, you get yourself out there. And I did most of it myself. My baby don't want me, she don't need me. Find herself someone new. Left me at home, sitting alone, nothing in the world to do. You've got to sing to be yourself. And I sing songs to where I paint myself a picture. And some songs, not all. But some songs deserve a picture painted. And when you can do that, you give the picture to the people. You sung them a picture. I bought this guitar in Cincinnati from a little place called the Ken Mill Tavern. The guitar is a 1954. I bought it in 1967 and I've been playing it. This is 2019, and that's how long I've been, been playing the guitar. On every show, every recording I've ever made has been with this guitar. This pick guard, it became a trademark for me. It's different. Uh, it was on the guitar when I got it. And I wanted to keep it on there because it was good to have an identity look, you know. And this guitar gave it to me. It gave me a lot of it. Hot leg. That's twenty bucks. <laughs> You'd have to be willing to let yourself be involved in this music, and you sacrifice a lot to stay in it. I mean, you really do. You sacrifice a lot of your home time and your families, but it's something that we're called to do. And you know, if it wasn't, there wouldn't there wouldn't be nobody doing this music if it wasn't meant for some of us to play this music and, and take it forward. So I'm glad that, that I was uh, sort of called to do this, you know, meant for me to do this. The music has been good to me, the business has been good to me, and you know, there was times that it didn't work. Many times. But do I regret it? No. I loved it. Oh, I wish I was home where the blue And the sweet country girls don't complain.